up and under by Downey. Boy, he has come up big time, the freshman. There's the dunk by Wignott. He wants to work his way into the discussion. Well, he's one up on me for his career. That's his first one this season. Wrap around, and Franklin, Ron Moore, has a little smile on his face. Wigdon, who has been high, in the double figure. For the fifth time in their history in the third year in a row, Sienna are the MAC champions. See if they feed Rossiter again. Instead, it's Downey who finds an opening. He flips it in! Timeout, Georgia Tech! Walters, strong move, lays it in. Six on the shot clock. Walters knocks it down. A last second attempt right there. Wignot buries the three. Downey, three for the lead. Big! Kyle Downey with 14. And the Saints have come all the way back to take the lead. Connor Fenlon has never had a main field goal. He'll shoot a three. with the ball, back to Himes. 10 seconds left, Wignot hits the three, we're tied at 78. With everything I've ever done, I give it all to everyone for one more day. Playing with Owen over the last four years has been, you know, exciting. Uh, he's always a great teammate. Uh, he always stays positive on the floor. And uh, he's always uh, capable of making some big highlight plays. Wignot hammers it down! Playing on was great. It's uh, kind of kind of like me. Just need that spurt, and he's spurt of energy. He's fine for the rest of the game. Uh, he's been a great person to play with. Pretty funny. A great movie buff. Playing with Kyle uh, has been a great experience the past four years. Uh, when we first came in together, I never really met someone who worked out as hard as he did. So. Uh, he was a great leader this past year, and uh, I've really learned a lot uh, from Kyle. Downey, a big two-point shot. It's good. Kyle, you know, he's probably been the hardest working uh, teammate I've ever been around. You know, he was a really big leader for us this year, you know, with our uh, diminished numbers, only seven, seven scholarship players. He was really the leader of this team, and uh, that Iona game, that speaks enough. He brought us back single-handedly, so, you know, it, he, he's probably been the hardest working and probably best player I've ever been around. Brandon has been great, uh, especially this year. You know, he really stepped up and uh, uh, really helped the team this year. So I was, I was really proud to see him him uh, do that. Um, he's always, you know, the comedian in the locker room too. So he's always, you know, setting the move for practice. So it's good. Triple team, Walters the follow. This summer, leading up to senior year, was probably the best summer I've ever seen someone go from one year to another. You know, he lost a lot of weight. He got into playing shape because he knew he was going to be a big part of this team this year. And uh, that Manhattan game, he really put us on his back. Um, I didn't like him staring at all the cameras, but you know he really put us on his back, and it was a big part of what we did this year. Connor Fenlon has never had a made field goal. He'll shoot a three. He got it. <laughs> Connor Fenlon buries his first career field goal. The Saints lead it four to nothing. Fenlon's a man. Uh, you know he's kind of he's kind of the coach in the locker room for us. Uh, he's always giving guys advice. Um, and even on, on the court during practice, he goes, well, well, why didn't you do this or why didn't you do that? So uh, he's been very helpful for, for the last four years. Connor's coach behind the scenes. Um, he was always there to help me out and uh, give me advice on future games and um, anything I needed, needed help on, he was there for me. Some of my uh, fondest memories are obviously, I'm going to have to say, the first two years I was here, went to the NCAA tournament, beating uh, Ohio State, 
and then almost beating Louisville, and then going to play Purdue the next year was awesome. You know, we went to first class, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, I would talk about this year, um, probably the Iona Manhattan game, how that shot didn't go in for Manhattan. Really, just I, I was still in awe about that. Uh, well, I remember most of my time. It would probably have to be the fans. Um, they're great, even in some tough losses. They never, uh, they were never down on us. We always be cheered, and especially this year having a seven-man rotation, um, seven scholarship players, they were still there for us no matter what, uh, they were thick and thin, and that's, I think that's really important for a team. Uh, what I will remember most, uh, I'll definitely have to say, is uh, just my teammates. I really uh, created a great bond with these guys over the past four years, and uh, um, getting away from that is going to be uh, very different, but uh, an adjustment I'll have to make. and. Uh, these guys are like brothers to me. I think it's just the, the atmosphere and uh, the camaraderie of uh, my teammates. Um, I truly enjoyed um, going through every workout, uh, every practice, you know, waking up with these guys, you know, living with them. Um, you know, that's, that's, this is kind of my second family and uh, you know, I'm definitely going to cherish that forever. Here comes the rest of our lives.